How's it going everybody? Zab here and I want to let you guys know about our sponsor here, Mundy or BC Lions Rock 11 as he's known on Twitter. Make sure to go follow him. Actually right as of now, um, it is Friday afternoon. He is so close to 900. Hopefully he'll have that 900 by the time this goes out on Monday. But uh, make sure to go follow him and tell him that I sent you. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get on into this Hockey Ultimate Team update. We have made some crazy changes, won some crazy giveaways, got some crazy donations, and speaking of donations, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a video um, in about 2.5, but before we do, I want to say... Thank you, thank you, thank you to at Beamer's Hut. Make sure to go follow him on Twitter. He's a great Hut account, great guy overall, does tons of giveaways, so make sure to go ahead and follow him. And I guess I'll just throw up this video. It pretty much just explains itself, so uh, check this out. All right, guys, here we are. So before we get into this crazy donation, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a backstory here. Um, I just woke up about 10, 15 minutes ago. You could probably hear it in my voice. Uh, so I just woke up. I got a message from Beamer, Beamer's Hut. I'm going to leave his Twitter in the description down below. Uh, he randomly messaged me asking if I was awake. I said yes. He told me to put up a contract and that he was going to give me the biggest donation I've possibly ever gotten. Um, so I have no idea what it is. I haven't looked at it. I don't even look to see if there is a trade. He said he sent it, but I haven't looked at it yet um, beforehand. And he said it's going to be the biggest. And my biggest donation was over 850k. So I decided to go ahead and record it and just throw it in with this week's Hockey Ultimate Team update. Um, I have no clue what it is, but let's go ahead, I guess, and look at it. There are people sleeping in my house right now, so I'm going to try and contain myself and not yell at the top of my lungs. But there it is. <laughs> I don't. Should I close my eyes and open it? I'm going to go ahead and open it with my eyes closed, let you guys see it, and then I'm going to look at it a split second later. Okay, so it should be opened. Now, whoa! What? <laughs> what? It's literally been 10 minutes, and I've just been sitting here, just no, no making no sounds, just looking at it, just... What? How much is it even worth? Is it Dan Char, the milestone card that's so rare? What? Um, yeah, man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add this up really quick. That's... That's... Uh, mm, eh, what? I'm just, I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't. One sec, 600k? That's so crazy. 700k? At 1.3 mil. Wow. Wow. I... What? I... Wow, okay. Everyone. Every single one of you that watches this video, let's try to speak English here, Zab. Everyone that watches this video, please go and follow at Beamer's Hut. I'm going to put his link in the description a million times down there. Go ahead, follow him. Um, I'm going to think about doing some, I might do like a giveaway or something. Um, and one of the rules is you're going to have to follow him or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, that's absolutely insane. Zidane Ochoa. Now, what do I do with the cards? That's the question. Do I sell them? Do I keep them? I, I don't want to sell them. Zidane Ochoa is one of the rarer cards in the game. That's so crazy. Wow. All right, guys. Um, on to the, uh, the Hockey Ultimate Team update, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, so uh, that happened about 1.1, 1 1.3 1 million on average, um, which is pretty just nuts. I know I already said it like three, four times, but make sure to go follow Beamer's Hut. Crazy. That happened, I think, Monday morning, I believe. Um, just ridiculous, and it kind of changed my whole entire team up. Uh, my team is right now pretty much complete. I really don't know anywhere that I can improve upon. I'm going to show you all the new players. I have a whole new third line, whole new fourth line. Um, but... Let's uh, do. We, yeah, let's just go ahead and show you kind of like a timeline from Monday until now on Friday, kind of in order of things that happened. So first, that uh, that crazy donation by Beamer, and then I went ahead and uh, I don't remember the exact day, but uh, I think it was that Monday, something like that. I ended up picking up a great 
third liner here. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you who he is right off the bat. It's the Team of the Week Zetterberg right there. You already saw another player I got. But Team of the Week Zetterberg, a great card. I had his nor normal card um, on my team. Oh, jeez. I don't even know how long. A long, long time ago. Before I got like the whole Team of the Year Crosby and Team of the Year Ovechkin uh, trades that I did before that. I had the Zetterberg. He was crazy good on my first line. And I uh, decided to pick up his Team of the Week for this new team. And to be quite honest, he hasn't done a lot. He's kind of gone unnoticed. Uh, I mean, he is on my third line, so he's not getting, uh, you know, the ice time he needs to be a legitimate point producer. But he's still doing pretty good. He's getting a couple chances here and there. I, couldn't, I can't really complain considering he's a third liner. He's probably uh, one of the best third liners I've personally ever, ever used. Uh, but that happened. <laughs> and then the whole donation happened. Or the donation happened. That happened. And then I ended up winning a giveaway. I believe like the same day or the day afterwards, I ended up winning a giveaway from the Chell Boys. Make sure to go subscribe to them. I'll leave a link to their Twitter and their YouTube in the description down below. Uh, really good new YouTubers. I think they have a lot of promise. Um, so make sure to check them out. But I ended up winning this crazy Stanley Cup edition giveaway. I'll go ahead and show you a picture uh, screen cap that I took when I got the trade. Yeah, a Stanley Cup edition, Marion Gabrick. Uh, wow. <laughs> Definitely the biggest giveaway I've ever won. I usually don't enter too many giveaways, but uh, that one was, that's a ridiculous giveaway. Again, check them out. Uh, links in the description. But th pretty much between the donation and between that and the uh, giveaway, my team completely was just redesigned from the third and fourth line up a little bit. Um, so after I sold those players, because I knew I wanted to build my Team of the Week team, um, I basically basically sold those guys and this is what I ended up buying all right so on the third line left wing I ended up deciding to pick up a high-end player I, I wanted to pick up lower end type players that only go for about 100k maybe 150 but since I did come into a lot of pucks I decided just to go big or go home and I ended up picking up a hut live Ilya Kovalchuk again you're seeing some of the other players I got but Ilya Kovalchuk uh, crazy player I had him once before didn't really like him he was on my second line um, but but I decided he's on the third line. Let's just go all out. So I bought a Kovalchuk for the third line. He's actually been doing pretty good. Uh, one of the biggest things I didn't like about him when I had him the first time is that he is a penalty machine. But on the third line, he's not getting that... Uh, too many shifts, and so he's not taking that many penalties, so it doesn't really affect our team that much. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then on to the fourth line, which is a pretty cool line. I really like using them, so let's move on over there now. All right, so here we are on the fourth line. Let's just go right into it, show you who we ended up getting. Inside joke here, don't eat the Phil cookies. I ended up getting Team of the Week, Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel, uh, pretty nasty-looking card, 90, 92, 92 uh, defensively. Obviously, nothing special, but pretty sick card right there. Picked that guy up, um, and then I picked up at center. I wanted a good high-end, high-rated Team of the Week center that was good on face-off center, and there weren't too many other than guys like... Uh, Datsuk and Crosby and Stamkos, all those guys, uh, and Taze, of course, which I already had on my team. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this guy. He seemed like the highest rated uh, Team of the Week center that was good at faceoffs that I could at least find at the time. So I picked him up for a fairly decent price. It's going to be the Team of the Week, Joe Thornton. Pretty solid card. I had his normal card um, once before for like two days. I did not like it at all. All. He was way too slow, just was not good at all. Uh, but I ended up picking the 92 overall version, decided, hey, it's the fourth line. Uh, who cares if he's slower than a bag of bricks? He's on the fourth line, right? So I decided to pick him up. 88 for skating. I have noticed he is significantly faster than his normal card. Still on the slower side, but um, a tank for sure. Pretty difficult to knock off the puck. Uh, 91 for checking. He throws the body uh, like none other. A really good card. Uh, is it worth about the 180 that I believe he goes for? Uh, probably wouldn't say that, but I think he's a good card. Um, if you're a Joe Thornton fan, I guess pick him up. But other than that, and honestly, I'd suggest probably uh, 50 different centers before I would suggest Joe Thornton, in my opinion. Uh, but he's on the fourth line, so I'm not going to complain there. On to the right winger, a uh, player that I had before, and I've been kind of disappointed with him right now. Marty St. Louis. I believe this is the 90 overall version, I believe. How many games does he have left? Uh, 11. I believe this is the 90 overall version. 
Uh, picked him up for a fairly decent price, put him on the fourth line, uh, and he's been kind of non-existent. He's a good card. Again, he's on the fourth line. If I would have had him on the first or second, maybe I would have seen um, that he's a superstar, but on the fourth line, I'm not really noticing anything from him. He's a decent card. I think he goes for around 60 to 70k. I'd say he's probably worth that, but not much more. Decent player. Nothing crazy, though. Nothing to brag about, but that's pretty much the brand new third and fourth line. Looks pretty filthy. Oh, yeah, and I forgot forgot to even mention i got the team of the week pk suban team of the week cronwall uh team of the week pk pk suban i won from ewan or i methods jr that's his channel make sure to check him out I actually won him in a wager match i posted that video on my channel make sure to check that out as well uh, but i won him he's been pretty good for me put him alongside of cronwall who i picked up earlier this week i've had him before and he's a really good player so that's why i picked up cronwall uh on to the second line I know this is probably going to be a pretty long video because we made so many changes, uh, but on to the second line. It should be a no-brainer. You already said two, seen two of the players that I got, but let's just start in order of who I got first onto who I got last. So, first player that I upgraded this week. At uh, right wing, right here, team of the week of Guinea Malkin. Finally got the Malkin. I've been looking to get one. I wanted the 94 overall. But the only ones I saw were in the 93, and I decided, you know what, I have enough pucks to trade for it. Let's just get it done with, and eventually I can go to the 94. Um, I traded normal Malkin and pucks. I don't remember how many. I think it was like 100K or something like that. Um, but there it is, Team of the Week Malkin. And then I picked up from Tyler Bozak. Um, I picked up his 95 overall Team of the Week Shea Weber for 190K and a normal Shea Weber. So not a crazy deal, I don't think. Kind of just goes what he, or that's kind of just what he goes for, I believe. But got him there. Got him out of the way and then geez like the rarest card in hut the past week or so team of the week uh steven stamkos and now that i said that i'm sure there's going to be like 20 of them up within the next hour uh, he's normally not a rare card at all but i've been looking for the past week and i could not find any any i found two of them two different sellers the first seller i kept sending in trades he wouldn't accept it and then finally he got fed up with listing them up i guess and he put them up for 50 pucks and i finally sent in the same trade and uh, he did end up accepting it i overpaid by a lot uh this is this was the offer normal steven stamkos hut live um varlamov and 230k uh, his last sold price was 550k, and I gave him a total of about 700k, give or take. So overpaid by quite a bit. But uh, right here, Steven Stamkos, he was the last player I needed on my team. I just picked him up probably two, three hours ago, uh, and that's why I didn't mind overpaying because he was just the last player I needed. So there it is, Steven Stamkos. The team is just about complete, except. For one more player, and that's going to be the backup goaltender. So uh, I had about 80k after everything was said and done here, and I decided to pick up a Hut Live goaltender. Didn't know who to pick up. I was suggested by uh, X Tech to get the 89, I think, overall Team of the Week Hiller, and uh, I decided that just on a limb. I saw him. I heard he was pretty good from a couple of people. Haven't tried him out yet, uh, but I ended up picking up. Let's go ahead and just switch him out here. Ended up picking up Team of the Week Sochi. Tukarask. I heard he's pretty solid. This is the 89 overall version. Heard he's good. Haven't tried him yet, so hopefully he's a beast. I picked him up for 66k, uh, so hopefully he's good. But yeah, guys, that is the team. It's just about complete. Like I said, I might be able to upgrade some players. Maybe upgrade upgrade Kessel to like a 91 or a 92. Uh, maybe upgrade St. Louis to a different higher end right winger. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Maybe upgrade Malkin to his 94 or 98. Uh, kind of just go on from there, but right now it just looks filthy, looks beautiful, looks disgusting, downright dirty, and I think I'm going to start building a milestone team, so all milestone players, nothing crazy like milestone Datsuk and Crosby, but kind of players like maybe milestone Gretzky, milestone Marlowe, players like that. Um, but we'll just have to see. That's kind of something that I, I might do here and there, but that's not really going to be my main focus. But there is the team. I know it was a long one, but we're still not done. Let's go into the stats, which this part's going to be extremely short. I have not played any games really the past month, which we're uh, at the point here. We're six days in, so we're only about a week in. Um, but I've only played two games uh, this month. We are 2-0-2, not great, not 
uh, not bad either. 15 Division One titles, two Elite Cups. That's pretty much it. Uh, nothing too special there. We're gonna look at the uh, look at the stats really quick. Mainly the goaltenders is what I want to look at real quick. Just curious uh, to see what their goals against average are, especially the Tuka Rask. So let's go to the player statistics. Kind of see what some of these players are logging. All right, so Weber 23 points in 107 games, not great. Uh, let's just go to the most points. Ovechkin, Malkin. So Malkin really isn't even that good. 350 or 335 points, that's great, but 638 games. Uh, Stamkos 315 points in 265 games, really. All right, we'll see about that. Thornton uh, 293 and 282. I like to see that again. If he's on your first line, I'm sure he will be getting a lot of points. Datsu, yep. Kessel. Decent, not great. Bergeron, over a point per game. Subban, not so great. Uh, Crosby, over a point per game. I want to see Kovalchuk, the third line mainly. Uh, where's the third line? Zetterberg, 37 points. Kovalchuk, 35 and 44. Uh, Dowdy's a beauty. And I think that's just about, yeah, that's going to do it. There's the stats. The team, I know it was crazy. Tons of donations, tons of giveaways, tons of everything going on left, right, and center. Uh, I do also want to say, I know it's long, I'm sorry. I do want to say one last thing, and that is thank you so much for 900 subscribers. I just saw that I hit 900 the other day. Uh, Decosaurus Rex actually tweeted at me saying congrats on 900. I was kind of shocked. I didn't think I was going to hit 900 that day, uh, but I did. So that is crazy, guys. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to 1,000. I have to do something special, uh, like a giveaway or something for a thousand. But uh, wow, guys, it's been an adventure so far, and I can't wait for NHL 15 and all the other weeks, months, and years to come. So if you did uh, enjoy this video, please do hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe for much, much more, guys. As always, I'm Zab, and I will see you next time.